Hello everyone. Today we'll take a look at how to connect multiple tables into a single pivot table without using any lookup formula. We'll achieve this with the help of Power Pivot. Power Pivot is a tool that allows you to analyze large data sets in Excel and it is right here in the ribbon. A big thank you to our new and existing subscribers for their support. And if you are yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button to support this channel. Thank you. Now let's take a look at the data. The data list here shows details relating to sales. It includes customer names, product, sales quantity, and value. Here we have the supplier list showing products and their suppliers. And this is the agent list showing their names, customers, and region. To create a single pivot table, you don't need a lookup formula to pick the suppliers from this table and agents or regions from this table. All you have to do is import the data into the data model right here in the Power Pivot tab and then create a relationship by connecting them. Now, before we go on, I have to mention that you need to understand the basics of pivot table to fully grasp this concept. The link to the video on pivot tables is in the description box below. Now, the first step is to convert each data list into an Excel table and name them in the design tab. So click anywhere in the data, press Ctrl T. This will be sales. Ctrl T, this will be suppliers. Ctrl T, this will be agent. To create relationships between the tables in Power Pivot, we have to connect the common fields between the tables. This is also known as creating a relationship. It is important to know that there are two types of tables in a data model. They are fact tables and dimension tables. The fact table contains details and metrics relating to the business. It typically includes a lot of numbers which can be aggregated or used for calculations, just like the sales table here. The dimension table on the other hand is the lookup table. That is where we get information for the fact table. Please note that you can have duplicates in the column that is related to the fact table. This means that every row in the related column must be unique. You need to understand the difference between these tables because it will aid your understanding of Power Pivot and ultimately Power BI. For those who are not aware, Power Pivot is also a part of Power BI. Let's identify the related fields between the fact table and dimension tables. The related field between the sales table and the supplier table is product. You notice that there are no duplicate products listed in this dimension table. However, the fact table can have duplicates. The related field between the sales table and the agent table is customer. You notice that there are no duplicate customers listed in this dimension table. Now let's open the Power Pivot window. Go to the Power Pivot tab. Click Data Model. A new window opens up. It is blank because we are yet to import the tables into the data model. You can press Alt and Tab to switch between this window and the workbook. Now let's import the tables. Click anywhere in the first table. Go to Power Pivot. Click Add to Data Model. The table has been imported into Power Pivot. And you can see the name right here at the bottom. Repeat the same steps for other tables. You notice that it looks just like an Excel workbook with worksheets. <laughs> Let me also mention that Power Pivot uses DAX formulas, which are very similar to Excel formulas. We'll cover that in another video. Now go to the Home tab. Under View, you see that we're currently in the data view of the model. Now select Diagram View. All the imported tables are displayed here. We can drag or resize them depending on how many fields each one has. Next, drag the related field 
from the dimension tables to the fact table. Drag product to product and customer to customer. Doesn't matter where you drag from, it will display a line showing the connection. If you over on the connection, it shows the fields that are related to each other. When you see the asterisk, it simply means that is a one-to-many relationship, meaning that the dimension tables have unique records that are connected to the fact table, while the fact table has duplicates of the records. Now you can create a pivot table or a pivot chart from the home tab in Power Pivot or from the Insert tab in the workbook. Let's save and close the Power Pivot window. Control S, close it. Insert a pivot table from the Insert tab. Excel recently made an update to this. There's a drop down now where you can select your data source. I'm yet to get the update though. Anyways, click Insert Pivot Table and select use this workbook's data model and place on a new worksheet. All the tables appear on the field list and we can drag fields from any of the tables. Let's drag sales to values and agents to rows, suppliers to columns. Let's format the numbers, right click, number format, and okay, we've used fields from all the tables in the data model for this pivot table report without using any lookup formula. We can also insert a pivot chart from the insert tab or just alt and F1 that works fine too. Cool. That will be all for today. In the next video, I'll show you how to connect tables from multiple Excel files. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.